I ended up making the extra 15 minute drive up to Palmyra, Pennsylvania. I'm at Black Swan. I haven't been here since the summer. I know there's a couple vendors here that are holiday crazy. So I am excited to see what they got. Well, as soon as I walked in, I already see a couple things that have some interest to me. I am just now learning that those are Kurt Adler. I've seen those before, um, though I haven't seen that exact version. And $8 each, they're kind of neat. And then the little carolers are $18. Um, I'm also kind of into the little angel ornament up there, but I'm gonna see what they got before I commit to cases. Oh my gosh, look at this little bone china. That is too cute. Small chip though. I don't want anything to do with the small chip, although I don't even see it, so it must be very small. Oh, look at these funny clothespins. <laughs> I love googly eye anything. All right, a lot to take in here. First of all, the left in Valentine's Day girl. She's 25, which is around what I get for those after fees. Um, wow, that's quite a spectacular vase, even though it's not usually my thing. See a lot of stuff I like now. It's all right around retail. Um, that face mug back there is very interesting. Not really sure what's going on there. I love the spaghetti angels, but like I said, um, the months that are more collectible are priced as such, so I can't really touch those for resale. Okay, now this is really interesting. It almost looks like a mohair body with a antique German Bisco doll in it. Now, the doll head is definitely old. I'm not so sure about the body though. Um, it looks like it's supposed to be, but it's in such good condition, it's kind of confusing. I noticed that the price is only $30, which is kind of insane. Huh. I'm not sure what to make of that. I just can't help but notice all these amazing stife. Now, the one I definitely like the most is the hippopotamus back there. They're all priced really reasonably. It's not usually my bag, but oh my gosh, look at the little reindeer. That's so cute. Oh, and that Santa. Oh, and it's a pin, but it's 25, dang. Now Christmas. That elf at 19 is super reasonable. I could still make a couple dollars off that. I'm noticing too this angel in the back. She's got a little happy, oh, happy anniversary on the cake. I thought it said happy birthday at first. Also noteworthy, the candy cane girl bell. Um, however, at $49, that's about retail on that. And I love the little mouse candle holder or candle ring excuse me but again um i wish it had it's uh mate now i've looked at that pixie planter with the shoe a few times and again it was a little close i could still make a couple bucks off of it but it was i want to say it was like 75 dollars or something if i remember correctly now these are quite spectacular too it's a little soap set though it's uh Priced around retail and definitely a little bit harder to ship. Well, not that it's hard to ship, it's just an awkward size. What is happening here? Oh my gosh. Look at, <laughs> these mermaid soaps are incredible. Oh, I don't even know if I'm showing it. <laughs> it's $25. For the set, I actually am gonna go ahead and look that up because I have never seen anything quite like that. And mermaids are super collectible and those are really, really unique. Now, where I've seen soaps, novelty soaps like that before in their original packaging, I haven't had much luck for them, honestly. And I've just had, I bought a couple that I thought were really neat that were in the original packaging, but they didn't sell. And I've seen them out and they just kind of sit around. However, those mermaid ones, I really am considering taking a chance on those at $25. I'm gonna circle back at the end um, since it is in a case next to the register. I'm gonna have to come back here anyway. Let me see if I'm still thinking about it because they're pretty incredible. I can't decide if I'm willing to spend that much. 
because they're worth that much or just because I like them that much. Also in the cases, we've got Little Bo Peep, $7 for the Bone China. That's a pretty great price. I'm also in kind of obsessed with the Napco Christmas. Wait, is it a Napco Christmas Cat Angel? Well, dang, I'm definitely gonna have to circle back for that. I'm gonna do cases at the end. Um, I'm also kind of obsessed with this weird thing. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna grab that cat right now because I'm afraid someone else might and I would kick myself. Well, I'm still gonna go back and look at the mermaid soaps, but in the meantime, uh, oh my gosh, the little mouse is so cute. Um, I did grab the Christmas angel cat. A lot of little salt and pepper shakers. I like these dolphins. Um, they have seen better days, unfortunately. Uh, this is kind of a fun planter. Seven dollars. That's totally fair. No, I could make money on that. It's just a matter of how long it would take. What's going on with these dolls? <laughs> I love the QB one. Unfortunately, with the, the damage, even with the price, I'm not going to pick it up because I've jumped on a couple deals like these with these composition dolls. And if it's cracking that bad, by the time it gets to you, trust me, it will be cracked even more. What's this little Christmas house? $4? That is quite sweet. It's got a little bit of damage, but hmm, I'm gonna let it go. Okay, what? This Christmas angel with the snowman on a leash? Snow Baby's $139. Well, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's about retail. I am kind of curious because I've never seen it before. I might look it up just to do some fact checks. I wasn't able to find one and sold. Um, there is one on Etsy right now that has just the candy cane angel. It's made by Tilso and that was at 75. So I'm sure 140 is a fair price for a collector, but with the paint and everything, it's just a little too much for me to gamble with at uh, $140. I'm kind of into this weird hobby of snowman. <laughs> He's kind of fun. Definitely uh, a newer one though. Well, remember how I said that one had a happy anniversary? This one does have a cake. That is so cute. Unfortunately, it is repaired and it's not a birthday. I love, bir well, it's technically a birthday because it's for the month of May, but a generic birthday, I mean. Um, oh, look at that fun stuffed mouse. Oh, I see a little Napco Christmas girl. $8. Is she repaired? No. For eight bucks, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab her. Um, I'm also like, what is this? <laughs> that is very cute. I'm also kind of in love with this bear. Um, I love his little rubber snout. He is, wait, does that say gunned? It is gunned. He's 15 bucks. Now, I've bought a couple of the guns like this recently, and they've been kind of sitting. If it was any other day or a better uh, luck with them recently, I would grab that for 15 bucks because I feel like I'd probably be able to sell that for 30. Um, but I'm gonna let it go today. Lots of Christmas over here. Got a little Bone China Rudolph in it. That's totally fair, five bucks. But not as excited about it as I should be, or could be, I guess. More of the little Hong Kong mini mugs. They're winking too. 14, is that for the, wait, what? Okay, so it's $14 for the pair, $7 each. Technically, if I were to split them up, that's about what I get for those after fees. And what is this fantastic guy? <laughs> 35 is about retail on that. And uh, man, there's just so many fun little Christmas malls here. Oh my gosh, look at how cute those little angels are. Hmm, I love this candle. Oh my gosh, 
I don't do Kindles though. $8 is super fair. If this was going straight into my home for my Christmas display, I'd jump on that. But uh, candles make me a little nervous for resale. This little angel, she's pretty cute. She's only $2, but again, she's seen better days for sure. I cannot help but notice this phenomenal skunk. <laughs> He's pretty grand. He's got a little bit of damage. 25, yeah, I can't do anything with that, but <laughs> he's pretty great. Here's one of the Norcrest Santa Claus banks. $15. There's still room in that, but I've ha had this one twice. So I'm gonna put it back, even though it's adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this funny bobblehead. $29, super fair price, especially considering its condition. Um, a lot of the times they're pretty banged up on the bottom of the head from uh, the ages, the years of uh, bobbling around. And yes, I see this guy, but uh, he's great, but I'm just not crazy about him for some reason. Maybe I'm in a weird mood. Um. These are super collectible. This is, uh, it's got a little nick there, but it's only $8. Oh my gosh, there's a cowboy one, hold on. This is crazy. I always see these on uh, wanted groups. $8, how damaged is it? Uh, looks all right to me. This is a pretty good one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And just because these ones are so collectible. I don't know if I can see past that though. It's, it's got glue, it's got the little neck. Oh, I'm being such a cheapo. Yeah, I'm not gonna be weird. I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna get it. Now, whereas I see a lot of other stuff I'm interested in, I know I looked at her before, um, and whatever this really neat ashtray is. <laughs> I'm just not crazy about it. I'm trying to be super picky. That's so freaking neat. Um, I'm trying to be super picky and get things that I think will sell super quick just with all the stuff I have going on. And plus I'm gonna go out again this week. Oh, look at this little boxer baby. That is adorable, unfortunately at $19. That's around what I'd sell that for as well. And what about this hobnail amberina glass bell? It's only $5. It's got a nick in it though. Oh, what is going on with the sports stuff? I never pick up this much sports stuff. $8, that's so fair. But again, I don't think it would sell very well for me. I've not had good luck with sports stuff. Whoa, I was uh, looking in this case when I turned around and saw this, this definitely wasn't like this in the past. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything over here before I get too carried away. Like these hobbyist snowman mugs, 1974, $4.50 each. I've had these in the past. Um, they're kind of fun. I kind of want to grab them, but again, I'm way too distracted by what's happening over here to pay any attention to a hobbyist piece yet right now. All right, let's, let's digest. Hmm. Okay, so first of all, I see the first thing that, of course, the little gobo bunny, but I'm looking at the Commodore Japan Noel Christmas Pixie Salt and Pepper Shakers. They're $30. I see them listed for all kinds of crazy amounts. $30 is a little bit less than what I get for those after fees. I also noticed the Josef Originals Christmas Girl. No, it's not, it's left in. I was gonna say the face doesn't look right. $14 is probably around retail on that. I love the little ceramic snowman, but again at 18. Um, and the Commodore Angels with the, playing the cellos, I don't, I don't have much luck with that set and it's priced pretty close and 45 for that left in set. Now, of course, this, the Holt Howard Angel Bell is 35. And I wanna say, I wanna say the last one I had sold for 49. I'm not sure if 
is enough to get me very excited about it. I'm gonna go back and uh, take a quick look before I completely pass it up. Yeah, so the last one I had was 50 bucks actually. Um, 35 it really isn't bad and Holt Howard is always a good seller. It's still more than I'd like to spend on it, but I'm gonna think about it as I look through the rest of this booth. And just take a little Valentine's Day girl. I'm sure it's pricey. 19 left in. Um, I usually sell those for about 25, 30. Um, I could probably make some money off that actually. Now that I think about it, 30 bucks is uh, the average price. Maybe even a little bit more. Let me go back into my listings. This one's repaired. Oh, I hate spending that much up front on stuff. I'm such a cheapo. I'm absolutely in love with this chalkware piece and a bunch of little head vases, $30. It's about retail on that after fees. This is quite a spectacular one, but again, 50 bucks. Now, this is interesting. Oh, it's not the original umbrella. I was gonna say it's got an umbrella, but it's just a random metal one. And got a spaghetti Santa. The bank is not as desirable as the planter. Oh, I kind of love this little snowman but 28 in that condition is not for me. What about this boot? I know I normally knock the boots, but uh, this left in one is harder to find. Oh, <gasps> Christmas hankies. Oh my gosh, $10. It's got a little bit of staining going on. $10 is super fair. Write a name for the duck and you'll have good luck. Oh my God, that's so cute. 10 bucks again though. What is this one? monkeys and owls that is so fun if they were a little bit less i'd probably get all of them so far tommy cat loved the birdies so sweet and listened entranced while saying tweedledee tweedledum and a tweet oh my gosh that one's really cute oh, i'm gonna put that on top too um mickey Donald brownies, but again, 10 bucks. Oh, I hate how little room is in this. I mean, I could still make money. Oh, that's cute too. Off all of this so far. Oh my gosh, and the ballerinas. That one's going on top. I lost my spot. Here's another one with ducks. That one's really funny. Mm, bunnies, cute. That's cute too, little garden girl. I don't know if I'm doing the best job at showing these off, but the ballerina one is quite sweet. Um, $10. The three right here are the ones I'm most interested in, ballerinas and the cat and the Santa. I'm gonna come back to this booth, um, but also, <laughs> how weird is that? I'm kind of racing for the double glass back here. I'm sure it's, uh, more than I'd like to spend, but these are kind of hard to find. I don't do Pepsi glasses, but hot stuff, that's really fun. But again, $10 is a little bit more than I'd like to spend. I'd probably sell that for about 14, 15. All right, I can't lie, um, I'm interested in pretty much everything in this booth. First off is the Little Red Riding Hood Salt and Pepper Shakers. $19. I think I last sold those for $34. It's another fuzzy ceramic Christmas girl, $16. I cannot do that. Um, what about these little kissing angel salt and pepper shaker sets? Again, priced at retail. I see a lot of stuff that's really fun and up my alley. But I mean, look at all this to come. So I'm just taking it step by step. I like the Royal Copley Deer, but it's kind of hard to get excited about that with all the extra kitschy stuff in front of me. Um, that guy's pretty cute, eight bucks. And I see these reindeer, oh my gosh, how did I miss those? $50 for the bag though. Um, man, it's like really exciting until I start piecing it out. Then I'm, I haven't found anything yet that's uh, making me gasp at it. I'm like 
This is kind of cute, this little lamb planter. 14. <laughs> uh, the Valentine's Day angels, these bisque ones. Now, these sell pretty well, but I can't figure out what the price, 36 for three, that, is that right? Yeah, that's a really good price, but I don't feel like messing with that bisque material today. There's just so much here. Like this little clown bank is super cute. Left in $9. But this girl in the swing, $16. It's a wall pocket that is super unique. Um, I might pick that up. I might pick that up. Let me see what else they got. Here's another bear. Oh no, that one's different. Um, what about, about this one? This little dog is so cute. I think this is, la nope, napco wear. I've had this one before. $16 is about um, a little less than I got for mine after fees. I think I got 19 for mine after all was said and done. Oh, love that horse planter. And the swan, that's kind of different. I don't think I've seen that one before. Can't figure out how much it is. I gotta put my put it down here. 13. Hmm. Uh okay. This guy is quite phenomenal. This Relpo duck. I've had him before. I do not remember for the life of me what I sold him for. I've also had this nap go over a poodle a couple times. 17 is a little bit less than I charge. I got I think I got 25 for mine. I love the little deer with the cart. Um 17 is fair for a collector. Not really enough to make me jump on it though. I'm gonna look up this duck. I can't remember what the last one I had was. All right, so whereas there is versions of this that sell for a lot, this one uh, is about 25 bucks average and it's got a little nick under here. So for 18, I'm gonna let it be. But I'm also noticing a little Humpty Dumpty. That's quite fantastic too high for me to do anything with. This is very unique. Even though it's not really my style, it is German. All right, well, I see a lot, but it's all about right under retail. So I'm gonna keep going. Now, I hope no one gets too mad at me, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put her back. I'm just not really feeling it right now. Um, I'm gonna still go back to that booth uh, with the whole Howard Angels, so I might come back and grab her again. I've just had so many things like this in the past that um, I'm really trying to switch it up. Speaking of Holt Howard, now this is not one of the better selling sets. I can already tell you, I'm definitely not interested in this set at $20, even if it wasn't repaired. The butter dish has some interest to me though, but not at 54 and the soap dish 18. Yeah, all right, not for me. Now this set is definitely a better selling one. Although $12 doesn't leave as much room as I'd like, it is on the more common side. All right, a couple things going on here. Uh, I love the little Hosef Originals, but not as desirable as, or the peanut one is kind of funny actually. This baby with the star I was interested in, but I'm seeing it is not all original. Again, the same kind of deal with the birthday angels, um, all kind of priced right below retail. <sighs> chenille fox is kind of interesting but i'm not really seeing anything that's you know i mean this is cool but again it's more common and price kind of high just not really getting excited about anything over here honestly before i turn my attention to the case um oh, it's a single shaker um i think this is a single shaker too yeah what is this christ thing Ah, uh, it's a single shaker. Eight dollars, good grief. That's super cheap. Uh, it's definitely a harder set to find and Christ, Christmas stuff like that is super collectible, but it's kind of hard to focus when I know this is happening. Hmm, I'm looking for that special something. The Lefton Elves candle holders, 34, very cute. 
but a little close. Um, the Christ Angels are really cute too. And what are these candle holders? Those are really interesting. $20, but repaired, that's why. Um, I'm obsessed with that snowman Christmas bulb. That is phenomenal though, I do not wanna ship that. And yeah, dang, strike out. The prices are just a little uh, underwhelming for me. It's more exciting when I find it for less. What is this little funny cat thing? <laughs> it's a salt shaker, that is so cute. Um, Look at this Santa Claus coming out of the chimney. How spectacular. Well, what do we have here? This one definitely caught my attention. It's $19, but it's a little rough. Ooh, yeah, that's a fair price, but I'm not crazy about the condition there. Hey, look, there's those uh, salt and pepper shakers again. These things are so awesome. I really do think they're whole Howard. Um, I just had a set. They sold immediately for $30. Wait, the mystery will be solved. Hmm. Folk Art Santas. Another product unique to sundry creation sun dry creations well it's really neat that they have the original box but huh i'm not sure if i'm gonna get them for a second time at that price of course i see the little elves but the christmas abacus is definitely the most interesting and that is hold howard um however 50 dollars that's not for me telephone girls Dang, $19 each. Ugh. It's almost more frustrating when it's close enough that you could make a couple bucks, but not enough to uh, get excited about spending dang near retail on it. I sold those for like $24 to $26 each, can, depending on condition. I don't even want to know, but I'm going to look anyway. $35. Hmm. Fair, but broken just kidding all right so i'm kind of over the scene here uh, i have gone through this whole thing and the two things that i can't stop thinking about are these mermaid soaps and the holt howard angel bell um i am going to get the key and grab these mermaid soaps even though i'm paying 25 dollars for them i just think that they're an incredibly rare find and Mermaids are pretty much the most collectible thing ever. I mean, their faces clearly show their age. They're definitely 1950s, um, just super neat. So I'm gonna grab them. Oh, so neat. I'm gonna take them. So I ended up spending $49 in there. I'm really excited about the mermaids. I decided not to go back to the booth with the little Valentine Day girl and the whole Howard Angel and all the cute hankies just because I just didn't want to spend that much and it was really um, kind of crazy at the checkout line. I was ready to keep it moving. Uh, you know, some days I'm in a more spendy mood, but for the most, I really like finding things for a super good deal. It makes it, makes it more fun for me, like I said. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to head down to Carlisle and uh, I'll see you guys when I get there.